Welcome back to the shop, you guys. Uh, today we're gonna go through uh, the part of the build where we attach our two limbs and our riser together. Uh, really seems pretty straightforward on the face of it, but you'll see as the video rolls on how um, there is a very special process that we should employ to get everything lined up on this bow. Uh, when you're dealing with three separate parts and you're gluing them together, things can get sketchy in a hurry. So be sure to watch through to see the, the solution to the problem I encountered while I was doing this build or doing this gluing operation and uh, take away some uh, little bit of future brain damage. If you choose to follow me on this build, you'll want to make sure you do it the right way. So enough talk, let's dive right in. Got my limbs tapered down here. See that they're tapered to a really pretty uh, narrow tip. And a little thicker back at the uh, back near the grip area. Uh, purpose of which was to, you know, really concentrate that bend out toward the tip of the bow. Now, I will tell you, this is still very, very difficult to bend. Um, you know, I mean, this is an exercise in why Ipe is so resilient of uh, wood in small dimensions. Um, and I'm kind of feeling like if I want to get a really good duo flex nature to this bow, I might need to, in future attempts, trade over to um, hickory. Because I think hickory is a little more um, elastic, if that's the word for it. It bends a little easier at these, at these kinds of dimensions. Uh, while remaining really uh, formidable once it's glued up. I put together something of a riser. So this is just the just the beginning pieces of the riser. I'll probably add in more more to the back to fill out the grip as we move along. But this is this is the start. So I've got hickory and ipe. Uh, these will go together. Here it's kind of the long view of how this is going to glue up to start. Okay, so lots of gluing gonna be going on with this. Uh, riser has already been glued here. I just did a tight bond three glue because I'm gonna have a lot of epoxy surfaces along here and I'm not worried about any failure on that particular joint uh, given its, its spot within the bow. So we're gonna start here by epoxying this piece together. Um, then um, start tapering our bamboo backing and, and getting it ready to go. In addition to uh, having a power lamb, I am going to put a power lamb on this bow because uh, it's the functionality that we need that, that that taper continue on beyond our fades. All right, uh, once, once this is glued and all cured out, I'm going to ease this edge on the sander. Our lamb is just gonna ride over that gentle sweep and and then uh, then the backing will go on. We may have to do a little bit of steam bending with the backing through the grip and, and perhaps even the power lamb uh, to get a good good purchase on the front of that limb uh, or the front of the bow. In the course of trying to narrow these limbs, I, uh, I ended up cutting a little deep into one of them and have had to now uh, match that across the entire bow. And consequently, the width on this thing is going to be just under one and an eighth. It might be like dead on one and an eighth inches there. So... Uh, a little more narrow than I had anticipated. It is certainly thin, so we should get some good bend out of this thing. Uh, since I, I lost a little bit of width, um, I went ahead and kept it at the total length of 68 inches, so I am going to be constructing a 66 inch bow. And we will uh, We'll just kind of see what we end up th with there. All right, guys, so this is a pretty small gluing operation, so I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of effort into mixing a ton of glue. So I have 
I have masked off my parts here. You can see that I've kind of preserved the back side or what would yeah, what would be the back side of the, the glue up operation. I don't get too much glue in here. Uh, it's really not going to matter on the rest of everything here. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, I'll have a hard time getting in and sanding this. So we'll go ahead and we'll put some some tape on that edge. See if I can't get it off. Uh, sorry, should have had that done up ahead of time. But uh, there we go. Protected all the parts we don't want glue on. way more glue than I'm possibly going to need. Remember guys, when you're putting your glue on, you don't want a ton of it. You just want it wet with glue. So hopefully I can get some sheen in there on the, the camera view. You just want it wet with glue. Epoxy more specifically. out of the way. Getting this glued up really is not going to be much of a mystery. You guys just got to get everything lined up right challenge being getting this joint right on all lined up even and I have all my parts trimmed to the exact same width so all I got to do is make sure that it's flat on the workbench and my limbs will run straight all right And what I think I'm going to do is... So I'm very disappointed that I did not follow this process when I glued my, my two belly strips to the riser piece. And, and so I've kind of mocked up the same gluing process here. And what really needs to happen, and I've, I put, put some edges on there so it'll bend or would glue up at an angle if that's what we were to do. But you can get them lined up against your straight edge. And then, and then we tape it down. Now, this will work on a larger scale than what I'm showing here without any trouble. All right, so get everything get it on its straight edge here and then we put our tape down right and then you know for the for the argument of having the belly piece that needs to be covered just like this okay and in doing such we we kind of anchor all of our tape together at the base here okay and so from here we would then apply our glue to all our surfaces let's say this is our other surface and then when it comes to gluing everything together it automatically stays lined up you don't you don't get the shifting of the limbs going in different directions and and having to wrestle really having to wrestle with it the way I had to wrestle with it um, on my on my actual glue up guys so this is I, I realize it's on a small scale but I'm telling you the blue tape I've done it in other applications I'm really disappointed in myself for not having shown it as such uh, with more preci more precision type cuts on the um, original glue up 
but that would have saved me a lot of time and effort in sliding parts, you know, doing, you know, parts trying to slide up on one another and off, off the, it, it just would have locked right into place, glued up. I would have been able to clamp it without the clamps, you know, pulling the, the, the limbs apart uh, at, the, at the center of the grip. It would have solved a heck of a lot of problems for me, and I really apologize that I did not cover that, um, that gluing process on the actual uh, project itself. Now, the end result is going to still yield a straight, a straight bow, so I, I made sure to get it. It just was a lot more brain damage than it needed to be. Again, blue tape is like a third hand, and I, I, I was missing a hand the entire time I was trying to get it all done. Here's our final glue up, guys, so that you can kind of see what I've got. Uh, and you can, you can tell that we're pretty well lined up here. Um, despite the uh, aid of a third hand in the form of blue tape, like I described the way I, I really should have glued this together. So just a... Uh, just a little heads up that everything is in fact glued up proper and now uh, we'll turn our turn our attention to uh, the remaining parts of, of uh, the production here the the bamboo back and the power lamp so <clears throat> that'll probably uh, be a topic for the next video since I got to wait for this thing to dry now so uh, thanks for hanging out with me for this installment uh, if you take nothing else away from this video uh, take away the the uh, excerpt on how I should have taped that belly, the two belly pieces together at the center uh, prior to the glue up. All right, so uh, like and subscribe, get a uh, reminder for when the uh, next episode comes out, and I will see you next week.